Cowboy fans, Cowboy Legends for Life here. To all, all those NFLers out there, um, coming back to you with another video real quick. Hoping that you liked the last one. And uh, I want to just point out something that some of you uh, may be wondering. I think maybe a few of you have. Um, why was it that um, I was not very concerned about this first game with the Eagles? Being the fact that the, our, my team, the Cowboys, is in the same division with the Eagles. And the fact the Eagles was predicated on how well your team do as opposed to everyone else in the, in the division. Well, the, the Eagles won. You know, even though it was a tough game, they're a tough team. They are a very tough team. And they played well together and they won. All right? Now, why am I not concerned about that win? I'm not. Because though they are the world champions and though they have won last night, they're, they're not the ones that's going to set the parameter on how well everybody else is going to do, be doing in that division. It's the Giants game that's more important. And that's, that's a fact. The Giants game on how well they do and how well they play is more important than what the Eagles did last night before in terms of the Dallas Cowboys are concerned. Okay? And so um, we, we, we know the, the Redskins have not played yet and they're going to play. And uh, we know the Cowboys haven't played yet. But I do know this, that it will set the tone about that, this entire division and, in the, and the conference itself on how well the, the Giants do in their first game. Actually, the first two games of the season. Think about that. Because they played the Cowboys the second game of the season. So, um, and then, of course, even though the Cowboys may win, may lose the first game, just to say that, let's say, for instance, they lose the first game, it's going to be doubly important that the Cowboys win that second game. That's being in the same division with the Giants. So, that's most important. You think about that. All right? And that's why, you know, I wasn't concerned about last night's game, whether the Eagles win or not. You know, who won doesn't matter. All right? They're going to be, the Cowboys will be playing both of them again, both the Eagles. And the, and the Falcons again. So, we'll get to that point when it happens. <laughs> and this time, I'm looking for revenge on the Eagles. I'm, not, I'm sorry, not the Eagles. I'm sorry, because we already beat them once last year. I don't care what the score was, we still won. All right? Like I said before in the beginning of my video this morning, a win is a win, you got it done, that's all, that's all that counts. All right? I'm saying the revenge, I'm talking about the goddamn uh, Falcons. The damn Falcons. I'm looking for revenge on that. Okay, that was a shitty game. I'm, I'm still upset about that game to this day. And uh, it proved to me that that, uh, that um, Garrett can't coach. Okay, it proved to me right then that he can't coach. So, um, so, but for him to get, for him to 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 um, make up for what they did last year, he's going to have to win this game with this very team. All right, period. I don't care. I don't care. He has to do it. So anyway, that's that's my point about that, and why um, that's so important to me about who's what game is which game is more important, and the Giants game is far more important than the Eagles game. Okay. Uh, with that said, man, uh, man, look, I told one thing I want to say more to the Eagles fans, and I get to hurt me blathering and, and about the Eagles quarterback situation is going to get worse and worse and all this stuff. And I wasn't trying to make light of it. Maybe I have, but um, I was trying to do that. But you know, because we, we went through the same similar situations in the past years. So what? So you're going through it now. But what I'm saying to you is that, um, look. St. Nick Foles is a pretty streaky quarterback. When he gets hot, man, he's unstoppable, it seems like. Okay, but when he, gets, when he gets, when he's not hot, I mean, you, I'm wondering what the hell is he doing? And what is he going to do next? But at this point in time, he hung in there last night and put together a couple of drives, and then they won. And that's, that's all that counts, right? Defense will play good. All right, but um, I told you guys about Carson Wentz. I told you and told you and told you about Carson Wentz. Everybody called me all kinds of stupid ass and all this dumb shit. And you old man, you old fart, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, you know. That's okay. Let's go call him. I'm proud of my age, man. I'm proud. Believe me, I am. Okay, so, but the thing is that I told you he will not play into the fifth game or the sixth game. And if you're fucking smart, you won't play him at all this year. Believe me when I tell you. You won't play him at all this year if you're smart enough to save his career and to save the giant, to save the uh, Eagles' goddamn future for winning another Super Bowl. Let's be honest with that, there, okay? But he won't play into the fifth, sixth game of the season. I told you that. I told you. He won't be ready until October. What's up? What's up, smarts? What's up, you, you intelligent geniuses out there? Okay? You think you know more football than a man who's been watching for over 50 years? Go right ahead and try. 